to make a move. What's next? Cut up our game. It's the only way to get to the top. What's up, big lads, niggas? This your boy, Jay Miles, and I am back with another video. And you know what to do. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share it with your glad friends. On today's video, we'll be covering Power Book 2 Ghosts. And this one right here is Davis McLean's Character and Descriptions, uh, Character Description and Synopsis, and Predictions for the Remaining of Season 4. Now, if you've been paying attention, whenever I did the characters and, um, um, you know, character synopsis and, um, and predictions, you pretty much already know what goes on in that, this particular video. But for those of you that's new, welcome. Pretty much I'll just break down the character, you know, read their, their description that they, that's been given about them. And, uh, pretty much, um, you know, make my bold predictions on where I think they will end, whether they possibly, you know, may give you insight of whether I think they will live or die for the, the remaining of these last five episodes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into this video. Now, um, you know, like usual, I have on the screen the synopsis so that you guys can also read along. So it says for us, for Davis is, in season four, Davis McLean's flirtation with the dark side will become a full-blown love affair as he officially joins Tariq's criminal enterprise. Davis, decide, Davis begins the season in a dark place, whirling from the loss of his brother. Then, to add insult to injury, he finds himself suspended from practicing law as his past professional behavior comes under scrutiny by the Bar Association after Jenny submits a letter questioning his ethics in an attempt to get him disbarred. As the Davis and Associates' house of cards collapse around him, He'll have to turn to more illegitimate means to earn an income and maintain his lifestyle. So, pretty much, um, you know, what we was given is what we already know. It's kind of just like um, um, Detective Carter's description. They didn't really give you too much. And, and to be honest, I think possibly the reason why it's kind of like this now is because we've already been given five episodes. Maybe if we've seen this at the beginning, you know, it'll be kind of giving us a little bit more insight. But, of course, these last five episodes, they're trying to, you know, put the squeeze on giving out as much, as little information as they possibly can because they don't want people like me decoding what's going to happen, even though I've been still doing a pretty good goddamn job. But, so, basically, you know, what's given out to the, nothing in here stands out pretty much that gives me a super lead to where, you know, it's going. Because pretty much everything that was said is what we was we already seen in these first five episodes. But um, I did do a video already, you know, stating that I think there's a possibility he may be taken out by Kane because, as we know, he has been, now he is, he's been smashing on Noma. And, you know, Kane does have this thing of um, this sense of um, superiority and, you know, wanting to run stuff and even jealous. See, so is it possible that we may see Davis McLean being taken out by your boy Kane. I think that's definitely a possibility, but what what that kind of le le leads on, you know, what to me what really matters to determine whether or not this will happen is 
is Kane going to see the bigger picture? Like, David's just being a nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, if she letting them smash on you, you can't be getting mad at him for, you know, her letting them smash. You know, I mean, she she the one out here, you know, being a 304 out here. <laughs> And I get it. I mean, if you ain't paying attention, I mean, no one's using Kane anyway. But, you know, that's another video. But anyways, my prediction, really official prediction for Davis McLean is actually pretty hard, to be honest. Like I said, I know I made two different videos for about him already. One with Kane being the person to take him out and another with Braden potentially. But um, what I think is that it is a lifeline for Davis. And the reason why I think it's a lifeline for him is because, like I said, I think they have been kind of keeping around the people, the public figures. And if I'm correct that they may um, potentially bring back out for um, Power Book 5 influence, then I think Davis could play a major part, you know what I'm saying, in that particular video. So, I mean, in that particular sh um, show. So they may just keep him around so that they can have him up in the influence uh, spinoff. Now, I know a lot of ugly ass niggas up in my comments constantly saying, bro, they counsel influence. They counsel influence. You think I don't know that they glad niggas? Like this, my my thing that's crazy about all y'all that was in there saying that is, y'all acting like a show can't be canceled and come back. It has happened so many times before. Y'all acting like once a show is canceled, oh, it's impossible to come back. Fifty had already says that the power universe is expanded. Meaning that it's a very high possibility that maybe they just did a postpone for influence because it wasn't time for them to release it. They felt like it would be better used if they waited a bit. Like they said, they canceled book book four. And honestly, I don't think they canceled it. They just, because that was the top show, they top show. What it is is that they see in a different vision to to steer it into another direction. So that's what they did. And I believe they did the same thing for influence, you ugly, hideous species that's trying to come in my comments and tell me it this ain't happening because they canceled it. Like it doesn't make any sense. But anyways, like I said, if influence is Indeed, in the makings, like for the one for one that they're getting ready to put out, I think Davis will be a very good candidate to keep around to add him to the show because, I mean, he's a uh, he's one of the you know, one of the top lawyers that we've grown to love. So I mean, Proctor is already out, so of course they can't use Proctor for that. So they would have to, you know, go with the next best thing, which is indeed Davis. So that's what I think we need to be looking into. If influence is going to happen, then I believe Davis will survive for sure. Because there is some characters that's going to fall and fall in this next um in this um, you know, these next five um episodes for sure. And I think I gave y'all I um that Drew, like I said, I said I called Drew from the beginning. I told y'all, Drew is out of here. I said that from the very beginning. Now I know I said that Anna was out for a while too, that I came then, you know, I I took that one back. But I said Drew was out of here from the beginning. Once the first when they first released the teaser trailer, I said, Yeah, Drew is out. It would, you just could see the writing on the wall for him. But, um, yeah, so with that being said, though, I just think, um, me personally, I think it would be a good idea for them to bring influence back, especially if Ghost comes back. 
especially if they decide to go ahead and drop Ghost on us and he be a politician. It just would make sense. So they probably would keep, but I don't know though, because maybe they'll think it's not enough room for Ghost and Davis McLean. You know what I'm saying? Like Method Man and Method Man and um, Amari Howard. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not exactly sure what Method Man's pay grade is, but you know. Power's been making a lot of big moves as of late, so maybe that money is really, really rolling in and they're they're deciding to spend some of it to keep some of these characters around. So, I mean, I, I really don't know. I mean, this one right here is not... I don't really have that many tough predictions outside of what I already gave y'all with Davis. But if I was a betting man, they said, okay, you got to choose. Does Davis survive... Or does he live? My opinion, mm, I will say, God damn, honestly, it's really hard. I would say Davis lives. I think Tom, I'm going to say live. I think Kane is going to just be like, see the bigger picture and, you know, let it go. Because, I mean, Davis ain't no punk. I think Davis got to catch a body before he leaves out, too. Yeah, I'm going to say this. If Davis do fall this season, he's going to take somebody out. Like, um, Davis does have a, you know, gangster side of him that we don't know about. And who knows, maybe that's why they'll be keeping him around, too, because they got to dig into Davis' backstory. Because I think Davis is actually a pretty interesting character, right? We don't know much about his backstory. We heard about a couple of things with him and his brother, but, you know, we don't really know about it. So they they would have to give us his backstory before taking him out, in my opinion. So that's another reason why I think he will survive, because I just don't think they have enough episodes left to really dive in and show us what Davis was up to without, uh, you know, before his, you know, his professional uh, attorney's um, side of his um, life started, right? So, and I, I don't, I just don't think that it would be his characters big enough that they'll do a spinoff with him. So, they'll just have to give it to us in certain episodes, piece it out, you know what I'm saying, showing us parts of David's life. So I think they don't need more story to be able to do that. So with that being said, I think Davis will indeed survive this season. That's my final prediction on Davis. So pretty much I think that's all I got for y'all as a particularly as this for this particular video, you know. So y'all definitely let me know in the comments, do y'all think Davis will survive? And if he if so, do you think he could potentially get a spinoff? Me personally, I think not. But who who knows? Maybe y'all see something that I don't. Or do you think he will be taken out? And and if so, by who? I know if I think if he gets taken out, it probably is gonna be by game. But we we I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But you know, pretty much like usual, if you're cool with me, feel with me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a like, comment, let me know what you're thinking. But most importantly, make sure you share with your glad friends. But until the next video, I'm out.